Welcome to our video Inside Look, China's Artificial Sun and its Potential Impact on the World. In this video, we'll take a closer look at China's advanced experimental nuclear fusion device known as the HL2M or the Artificial Sun. China's Artificial Sun is an experimental nuclear fusion device called the HL2M Tokamak. It is located at the Southwestern Institute of Physics in Chengdu, China. The device is designed to replicate the process that powers the sun, in which hydrogen nuclei are fused together to create helium and release a large amount of energy. The HL2M has a major radius of 2.75 meters, a minor radius of 1.65 meters, and a maximum plasma current of 2.5 million amperes. It uses a combination of superconducting magnets and high-powered heating systems to confine and heat a plasma of hydrogen isotopes to temperatures in excess of 150 million degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, the hydrogen nuclei overcome their electrostatic repulsion and fuse together, releasing a large amount of energy in the form of light and heat. The device is part of China's ambitious plan to develop its own nuclear fusion technology which could have a wide range of applications, including the production of clean, limitless energy. Nuclear fusion is considered to be a potentially game-changing technology, as it has the potential to provide an almost unlimited source of energy, with no greenhouse gas emissions and relatively little radioactive waste. The HL2M has been in operation since 2016 and has achieved a number of notable milestones. In 2016, it set a new record for plasma performance, reaching a temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius. In 2018, it set a new record for plasma current, reaching 2.5 million amperes. In 2020, it set a new world record for the longest duration of high-performance plasma, at 6 minutes and 15 seconds. These records indicate that the HL2M is capable of achieving the high temperatures and plasma conditions that are necessary for sustained nuclear fusion. One of the main challenges in nuclear fusion research is to find a way to confine and heat the plasma for long enough periods of time to achieve the conditions necessary for sustained nuclear fusion. The HL2M uses a combination of superconducting magnets and high-powered heating systems to achieve this. The superconducting magnets are used to create a strong magnetic field that can confine the plasma and prevent it from touching the walls of the device. The heating systems, which include neutral beam injection, radio frequency heating, and ion cyclotron resonance heating, are used to heat the plasma to the temperatures necessary for fusion. The HL2M's superconducting magnets are some of the most powerful in the world, with a maximum magnetic field of 5.3 Tesla. This is about 50 times stronger than the magnetic field of a typical MRI machine. The superconducting magnets are cooled to extremely low temperatures using liquid helium, which allows them to maintain their superconducting properties and generate the high magnetic fields necessary for confining the plasma. The heating systems used in the HL2M are also state-of-the-art. Neutral beam injection is a method of heating the plasma using beams of neutral atoms that have been accelerated to high energies. The neutral atoms are injected into the plasma, where they transfer their energy to the plasma particles, heating them up. Radio frequency heating is a method of heating the plasma using radio waves. The radio waves are directed into the plasma, where they excite the plasma particles, causing them to heat up. Ion cyclotron resonance heating is a method of heating the plasma using high-frequency electromagnetic waves. The waves are directed into the plasma, where they excite the ions, causing them to heat up. The HL2M's heating systems are capable of delivering a total heating power of up to 40 megawatts. This is enough power to heat the plasma to the temperatures necessary for nuclear fusion. The heating systems are also capable of delivering this power in a very precise and controlled manner, which is essential for maintaining the stability of the plasma and preventing it from touching the walls of the device. The HL2M's control systems are also state-of-the-art. They are designed to monitor and control the various parameters of the device, such as the plasma current, temperature, and density. 
The control systems are also designed to respond quickly to any changes in the plasma conditions in order to maintain the stability of the plasma and prevent it from touching the walls of the device. China's artificial sun is an important step in the country's efforts to develop its own nuclear fusion technology. It is the most advanced experimental nuclear fusion device in China, and it has already achieved several notable milestones. The HL2M is helping China to gain valuable experience and knowledge in the field of nuclear fusion, which will be essential for the development of a commercial nuclear fusion power plant in the future. In addition to its potential for the production of clean, limitless energy, the HL2M has other potential applications as well. For example, the high temperatures and intense radiation produced by the device could be used for various scientific research, including the study of high-energy physics, astrophysics, and material science. The HL2M's high-powered heating systems could also be used for industrial applications, such as the production of advanced materials. It is important to note that the HL2M is still an experimental device, and it is not yet capable of producing more energy than it consumes. However, China's continued investment and research in nuclear fusion technology is a promising step towards the development of a practical and sustainable nuclear fusion power plant. While the technology is still in early stages, it is expected that with continued development, nuclear fusion technology could play a significant role in meeting the world's energy needs in the future. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates on China's artificial sun project and other innovative technologies. We would appreciate if you could like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.